subprocess pulpen.communicate versus stem.write and start.read. I have noticed two different behaviors with two approaches that should have result in the same outcome. The goal to execute an external program using subprocess module, send some data and read the results. The external program is Plink, platform is Windows, Python version 3.3. The main idea. So far so good. Now I want to be able to do a loop after each write to the subprocessor stem that waits until EOF of the subprocessor stout, print it, then another stem command, and so on. So I first tried what previous discussions about the same topic yield, live output from subprocess command, read subprocess start line by line, Python, subprocess, reading output from subprocess. And it didn't work, it hangs forever, because the Plink process is remaining alive until I kill it myself, so there is no use of waiting for the stout of the subprocess to reach EOF or to do a loop while stout is true, because it will always be true until I kill it. So I decided to read from stout twice every time I am writing to stem, good enough for me. But the first extra red line hangs forever, as far as I understand, for the same reason I mentioned. The first extra red line waits forever for output, because the only output was already read in the first red line, and because Plink is alive, the function just sit there and waits for a new output line to get. So I tried this code, expecting the same hang because Plink never dies until I kill it. I tried that because according to the documentation of communicate, the function waits until the process is ended, and then it finishes. Also, it reads from stout until EOF. Same as writing and reading stout and stun. But communicate finishes and does not hang, in opposite of the previous code block. What am I missing here? Why when using communicate the plink ends, but when using redline it does not? Your program without communicate deadlocks because both processes are waiting on each other to write something before they write anything more themselves. Communicate does not deadlock in your example because it closes the stream like the command at dot stin dot close would. This sends an EOF to your subprocess, letting it know that there is no more input coming, so it can close itself, which in turn closes its output, so a dot stout dot read eventually returns an EOF, empty string. There is no special signal that your main process will receive from your subprocess to let you know that it is done writing the results from one command, but is ready for another command. This means that to communicate back and forth with one subprocess like you're trying to, you must read the exact number of lines that the subprocess sends. Like you saw, if you try to read too many lines, you deadlock. You might be able to use what you know, such as the command you sent it, and the output you have seen so far, to figure out exactly how many lines to read. You can use threads to write and read at the same time, especially if the output only needs to be printed to the user.
The thing is that when using subprocess.pop and your code continues to be read even before the process terminates. Try appending dot wait to your pop and call, see documentation. This will ensure that the execution finishes before going on with anything else. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing.